Welcome again. Today we are going to discuss another organ system with tubular networks, just like the cardiovascular system. And that system is named as lymphatic system. Although it is the most underestimated system of the body, but practically it's a very vital system that is responsible for some significant actions. Just as cardiovascular system is known to transport a fluid connective tissue that is blood throughout the body via a network of tubular structures called vessels or blood vessels. Similarly, the lymphatic system also transports a fluid connective tissue, here it is called lymph, throughout the body through a tubular network called lymphatics or lymph vessels. But the lymph vessels are relatively very delicate than the blood vessels. And obviously, they vary in functions as well. The lymphatic system is actually a one-way system that allows the fluid or lymph to flow from tissue spaces towards the blood. In the 18th century, William Hunter, a Scottish anatomist, concluded it as Lymphatic vessels are the absorbing vessels all over the body, and together they constitute one great and general system dispersed throughout the whole body for absorption. That shows it has some very direct link with absorption, which we are going to understand later in this video in detail. But here, we will talk about some important functions of the lymphatic system first. The lymphatic system is known for its three main functions that are fluid balance preservation, nutritional role, and role in defense. For the preservation of fluid balance, lymphatics absorb the excess interstitial fluid that has been filtered by the capillaries at the tissue level. We have discussed it in detail in our previous videos. Lymph vessels absorb this excessive fluid plus escaped plasma proteins due to its increased permeability and drain it back into the neck vein. In this way, it preserves the balance between fluid filtered from the capillaries and fluid reabsorbed by the capillaries, thus maintaining the tissue volume homeostasis and preventing lymphedema. That is the accumulation of fluid in extracellular spaces. Next comes its nutritional role, where intestinal lymph vessels called lacteals mainly play their role. These are the tiny lymph vessels that take up and transport tiny globules of digested fat that have been absorbed by the mucosa from the digested food toward the venous circulation. The name lacteal comes from the appearance of the lymph, which resembles milk, because of its fatty, milky appearance. Then comes the major role of the lymphatic system, that is the role in defense. As the excess interstitial fluid drains into the lymphatic system, it carries foreign materials, such as antigens, viruses, bacteria, and inhaled carbon particles. Lymphatic vessels carry all these things along with lymph to the lymph nodes. The lymph nodes here act as filters. As they phagocytose particulate matter and foreign antigens or bacteria, these lymph nodes have a large amount of WCs that attack and kill these microbes and invading particles, thus providing defense to the body against such foreign antigens. So basically these three are the main roles of the lymphatic system. And obviously, to accomplish these roles, there must be certain components that make up this whole system. And we can divide the components of the lymphatic system into four categories that are lymph, lymph vessels, lymph nodes, and lymphoid organs. Where lymph is a fluid connective tissue similar to blood that passes through the lymphatic vessels and drains into the venous system. Next are lymphatic vessels, which are more delicate tubular networks, otherwise similar to blood vessels. And instead of blood, they carry lymph from the interstitium to the venous system. Then comes lymph nodes, 
These are the glandular structures that come along the path of lymph vessels and act as filters for lymph. And lastly comes the lymphoid organs. Lymphoid organs are generally those organs that support the immune response by providing a site of lymphocyte development. So, this was just a brief introduction to all the components of the lymphatic system, but we will discuss them all in great detail in this video. But before that, we will enlist what we are going to learn in this video. First, we will talk about all the components of the lymphatic system, one by one. Starting with lymph, we will discuss its composition and function. Then we will discuss lymphatic vessels with their structural and functional details. Then we will talk about the glandular lymph nodes, which makes an important part of this system. After that, we will learn about the lymph flow through these lymphatics or lymph vessels. And lastly, we will discuss the primary and secondary lymphoid organs that play a major role in immunity. So basically, this last component comes under both the lymphatic system and the immune system as well. And even some books categorize lymphatic system as a part of the immune system. And some consider it a separate organ system of our body. But here in this video, we will discuss the lymphatic system as a separate system of our body. There's a lot to learn, so without wasting any time, let's get started. Explore our extensive library of over 1,800 video lectures to learn about a wide range of topics only on scadia.com.